So as I just walked up here, a load of uh, dragonflies came flying out. So let's just walk forward and uh, yeah, there's plenty of them around. Wow. Let's just see if we can't uh, see if any come out. Look, there's one big one. Yep, there's one gone past. There. They're on the hunt. Must be plenty of flies about. Oh. Yeah, there's a. Yeah. Look at them in the sky there. Whoa. Look at that. That's where that Second World War bomber got its name from, isn't it? Mosquito. We'll get on with detecting in a minute. Crikey, they're all over the place. Guys, last one. Ooh. So many. Look at that. They're too fast, aren't they? Right. Back to work. Just had that out, it was very deep. 17 signal, but I think it's more industrial than anything. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I really am. This is very difficult dry ground. I dug so much iron flickering away. I do believe I've found my smallest hammered coin number 14 on this field which is absolutely phenomenal so we're gonna have a look at it in a second so the flies have been eating me the mosquitoes have been eating the flies yeah let's oh, the swallows were after the mosquitoes cracky knows that's after this the, the uh, the, sw the uh, swallows, probably the sparrow hawks, but I'm after the hammered coins. So let's have a look. So this is how deep I had to go. There was a tiniest, there was something there, a tiny little 12. Dug, nothing, no, no sound. So I dug again, nothing. Put the pinpointer on. There was. Uh, something I dug out and then a faintest little 12 I kept trying not to get my hopes up but I do believe coming through there is like a bit of a lattice so I think it could be uh, a, it's a I think it's a tiny little hammered coin I don't know if they're farthings half pences but yeah oh look at the size of that Let's hang on Let's see if I can't yeah, no, I can't. I can't turn my hand over and put it on me little fingernail, can I? Look at the size. It's smaller than me little fingernail. Ooh. Right. Let's have a look at the other side. Oh, let's have a look. Is there anything on there? No. Look how tiny and thin this is. Right, I think there's going to be a cross on that side, but I am. I'm really chuffed to find that. That is tiny. So if you're swishing across a field, racing away, and that is at that depth, good luck. Right, let's have a look. That is a bucket lister for me. That gate, that's where the... Um, 
think that's the design that's that were on your modern one pence piece look at those lovely little dots around the outside that side is in really good condition isn't it look at that I can't believe I found that not a foot down that could be one of my best bits of detecting Turn it over, and there's the famous cross and pellets. <laughs> I was blown away, really chuffed with that. Really chuffed. There was probably a lot of them made, but I don't think there'll be a lot of them found. Right, let's see if we can't find out exactly what it is. So these are, this is an example of uh, the iron that I've been finding. Now that will be quite old that won't it? Heavy, thick not particularly symmetrical looks unmade so yeah all the uh, hammered coin uh, I've been told by my um, expert detector in friend is more than likely an Elizabeth the first penny so that, yeah that was on my bucket list so I found it now uh, he's probably found dozens, but <laughs> I'm chuffed with just finding that one at that at that depth uh, and and how tiny. The only problem is, I've, it's uh, with how minuscule and how difficult that signal was to find. Then uh, it opens up possibilities, but yeah, that's that can be a problem, can't it? You've got options in life, you've got to choose. You've got a hundred times more signals on a field. You've got a hundred times more signals to dig, haven't you? But, first world problems. What a nice coin. Okay, so, just got it out a second. Somebody was asking me on the last video about cleaning silver coins. Now, if you look at this, this is... Uh, apart from a, a quick wash on the field uh, this is exactly how it's come out of the ground now you can just make out probably a bit of brown mud on there uh, a little bit of mud on the back so what I'll do is I, I don't I've not purchased uh, distilled water I just use rainwater it's been in the ground with rainwater for 500 years hasn't it so I'll just put that in a bit of rainwater maybe if it all doesn't come off maybe use a gentle plastic toothbrush just to get that mud off and then uh, I'll do nothing with it just leave that patina on there which is that uh, bits of silver shining through and battleship grey but uh, yeah penny for your thoughts spend a penny yeah, you shouldn't rush off, you should spend time admiring them, that's what it's all about. And number 42 on the hammered. Just add another bit of iron. Also, this bit of pottery. I think that's a bit of an old pot, isn't it? This was very faint and very deep uh, and then a 15 signal went out but quite a duller sound so even though it was deep I wasn't uh, getting any help up on a, a second hammered for the day. I th when I saw it I thought oh it's a musket ball. I don't think it is. Is it uh, some kind of button or something? It seems to be like um, a line there 
it could be a musket ball and it's just hit something but yeah could have been something that was attached to something or it's a funny shape and maybe it's got a pattern on you can see kind of circular lines going round but yeah can't, if it's lead which it looks like it probably is it's not going to be a button is it oh lovely sound of church bells two o'clock and all as well hammered in your pocket can't be bad those are nice aren't they is it, a, is it sycamore used to when they dry out throw them up in, in, in the air as a kid watch them spin down hey there mr blue Mr. Blue Sky, we love you. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Got a penny in our pocket. Probably be heading off back soon. Get a nice cup of coffee. Do, a, do some fitness routine or something else. But look at that. It's worth stopping and staring for a bit, isn't it? Oh. Better than having to work for a living. Sorry about that, everybody. Right, well, here we are back home. I've given the uh, Queen Elizabeth the first penny uh, uh, a little clean. It's come up quite nice. It's got quite a nice patina. I'm really chuffed finding it. Uh, I know they were made probably in the millions, but uh, first one I found particularly pleased with how deep it was. Uh, yeah, right, let's have a little look. So there they are for comparison. That's our modern 1p coin with the uh, port Tulis on. Is it? I don't know if that's Tower of London. Uh, and then, yeah, look at it in, in terms of the size. The size, look at that, unbelievable, as thin as anything. And then there's the back, beautiful cross and pellets. And then, if we bring in for comparison what I found a couple of days ago, I mean, look at the difference. A 1931 half crown, it's got to be 50 at least 50 times its weight I should imagine or oh, more that'd be yeah look at the size of that yeah very very chuffed to find it right, I think uh, I think we've had enough now <laughs>